Bismillahirrahman Rahim. Welcome to my channel Learn Math with Sayyid Ali. Today one of my student has asked me to uh, give the definition and the basic idea of the uh, integration. Uh, before um, uh, discuss, discussing integration, I have I want to start this uh, introductory lesson with the differentiation, only the definition of differentiation because uh, inverse of differentiation is called integration. So uh, we have other videos on differentiation. Differentiation means breaking something into really small parts. Differentiation. In math, it is the process of finding the derivatives or rate of change of a function. Rate of change of a function. For example, if we have a function of y which is x cube minus 3x square plus 4x let's say this is the function and then we want to find out the derivative so derivative is indicated as dy by dx and the process is that we reduce one power we bring this coefficient here and reduce one power right and we bring this coefficient to multiply this so 3 to, uh, times 2 is 6 and reduce one power and here you multiply this with this so this is 4 and reduce one power so i have this dy by dx or differentiation right so this is rate of change of a function the function was given f of y f of x was given and right f of x is can be written as y right so y can be written as f of x so f of x when we differentiate it is this we use derivative to determine maximum and minimum values of particular functions. This is like what is ex, uh, application of differentiation. So we use de derivative to determine maximum and minimum values of the particular functions. Example, cost, strength, profit and loss, modeling the behavior of the moving object. This is what differentiation tells. And we have the example how we do the differentiation and there are fixed rules, right? We multiply the coefficient with the power and reduce one power of the variable. And inverse of differentiation is in integration, right? So integration is a process in which we find out the original function whose rate of change is given to us. So it is the process where we find out the original function. So if this thing is given, if this thing is given to us and then we have to find out the original function. So inverse of this is called integration so if i want to find out the inverse of this i can find out what y is right back to the original function that will be called integration all right rate of change is given to us integral in math are used to find out many useful quantities such as area volume displacement etc so it's very useful two of the uh, mathematical terms which combined together we called calculus so differentiation and integration so we can sum up now here the definite integrals is a function that defines the area under a curve for any given interval right definite why we use the term definite integrals because the indefinite integrals are used for antiderivatives so we are not discussing antiderivatives or indefinite integrals so we are saying definite integrals is a function that defines the area under a curve for any given interval taking the integral of the derivative of the function will yield the original function so if i take right so i took the derivative and now i can go back to the Original function, the integral can also tell us the position of an object at any point in time given at least two points of the velocity of an object, right? This is how we deal with the differentiation and the opposite function or inverse function of the differentiation is integration. The sign elongated S, what is the sign for the integration? So integration sign is integration sign is elongated s elongated s 
which is like this. So we elongate the S. This is my integration sign. All right. The symbol dx called the differential of the variable. What is the dx? This is called dx is called differential of the variable. Differential of the variable. So now we have the sign and we have the definition of dx. What is x in this function, right? x indicates the variable of integration is x. So this is variable of integration, variable of integration is x. The function so what is what is f of x right the function which is f of x right so f of x to be integrated which is which we are integrating to be integrated is called integrand so that thing is called integrand so these are the terminology and how we are using them in the integration, right? So this is called integrand. The symbol dx, symbol dx is separated by a space, is separated by a space. So now we have some basic knowledge about integration and we started off with the differentiation and enter into the integration to get back my original function right so if i integrate this i will be having like if i say that okay what is integration of 3x square minus 6x plus 4 right and when we have more than one terms we put the bracket and then we have to place a space and then dx. So that means this question, if I want to convert this back into my original, uh, into my original function, I have to integrate this, right? So what I have learned here, I put an integral sign and then put those terms into the bracket and with a separated by dx. So this is my now question that I need to integrate this function. And what I need to get back is my original function, right? So there are rules that we have to follow. So what, what are the, those rules? Those rules can be governed by two factors that add one, as we did here, right? We, we learned that in the differentiation. So it's like in, in inverse of that. So what is the first rule? Add one to the power. So we, if we add one to the power, right? So we are going to integrate it and rules are we are adding one to the power so add one to the power means three so three is there we add one to the power and divided by the added power that is three so this is the rule right so rule number rules for integration add one to the power so six x square and divide by the added power which is two plus four x right because we have to add 1 to the power, right? So we bring, with a constant, we bring x, right? And then we bring a constant. Why we bring the constant? I will explain it later. But here, if we simplify this thing, we can have x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4x plus c, right? So I solve this and I have got this thing back which was the original function can we see the original function yes this is my original function right this is my original f of x and i got back when i integrated it with a certain rule so we have fixed rule for differentiation and fixed rule for integration but why i add c right why i add c the explanation of this is that if i have an equation for example the same equation let's say x cube minus 
3x square plus 4x plus 2. But now I have added here a constant, right? Plus 2. And if I do the dy by dx, right? So dy by dx is bring this power down, reduce the power, right? Multiply the coefficient with the coefficient, uh, power with the coefficient, 6x plus 4. And constant of the derivative is 0. This is important when we learn this. We know that the constant of the derivative of the constant is 0, right? So that we have the same answer. Although my function was different this time by a constant, here my question was x cube minus 3x squared plus 4x. And here my question or y is x cube minus 3x squared plus 4x plus 2. That means, and my dy by dx is same for both, right? If my, so that means there is something so that means if I find out that, okay, my dy by dx is this, and if I integrate here, I got this x cube minus 3x squared plus 4x, right? Plus 4x. But here, I have something which is more, right? So I have to put a k or c, whatever we can put, right? Which indicates that, that the derivative will same if I have this function or that function. So that means we don't know. If I have this function and I am integrating it, so I don't know whether or not there was any constant in front of here after x. So for that, for that unknown function or unknown value, we put a constant k or c. So this is called constant of integration. So we always put that constant of integration, right? So that is why we put c. So that is the explanation of c. Hope you understand. You, you can see you can see it in other words that if we have here instead of two maybe we have instead of five right still we have the same differentiation if we have one we have the same differentiation if we have minus five whatever we have we have got dy by dx same right so that means that means we have to take care of that constant which is not known here when we are integrating this function. This function was given and we are integrating it, but we don't know actually if there is anything else added to this plus 4x and then a constant. And that constant does not affect my derivative. Therefore, we put a constant here, which is constant of integration, right? 